I'm Olivia Beavers and I'm the Assistant Curator of Natural Science at the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery. Today I'm going to be talking about Blue John Fluorite and its history and how it's formed. So let's go to the Natural History store and find out more. So here is a piece of Blue John and it's a colourful variety of fluorite or fluor spar and is native to Castleton, Derbyshire. It's a semi-precious mineral characterised by its banded colours as you can see which range from a deep purple to a lighter purple and yellow to white. Each piece of Blue John is unique and varied in colour. Large pieces of Blue John were crafted into ornamental vases and columns for places like Chatsworth and Buckingham Palace. Traditional techniques called turning are still used today to make smaller items including jewellery, ornaments and bowls. The name Blue John is rumoured to have originated from the French Bleu et Jaune, meaning blue and yellow, which would directly relate to its colouring. It is believed by some that Blue John was first discovered by the Romans, who were mining lead around 2,000 years ago in Castleton. For comparison, here is some regular fluorite, and as you can see, it has a glassy luster and comes in various colours, but it isn't normally banded, which is what makes the Blue John so unique. Fluorite is an industrial mineral associated with lead ores like galena. Fluorite often occurs as a gang mineral, which is a mineral that is commercially worthless but is associated or mixed with more desirable mineral ores like galena. On a fresh surface, galena has a very eye-catching silver colour and a metallic luster or shine, but this can tarnish to a dull grey. Galena is an ore of silver as well as a lead ore, and lead is a very important material, especially within the uh, increasing demand for hybrid vehicles and lead acid batteries. Blue John has been mined since the mid 18th century for ornaments and jewellery. The Blue John fluorite is a worldwide phenomenon, and part of this is due to the fact that it is only found in Castleton. More recently, it was challenged by another unique variety of fluorite discovered in China, which started to catch some attention because of its own stunning colours. The rarest variety found in China is the zebra fluorite, which combines a teal colour with Siberian purple. The bulk of the Blue John fluorite is found underground in mineral veins, where the Blue John Cavern and Treecliff Cavern have mined Blue John for many years. It's mined from mineral veins that run through the joints and fractures in the Castleton limestones. At present, there are 15 known veins of Blue John running through Castleton. The mineral veins, which vary in thickness and length, were formed from hydrothermal fluids, which are extremely hot fluids. They pass through the fractures and cracks in the rock, and as the fluid cools, the minerals within the hydrothermal fluids begin to precipitate out and form crystals. Smaller flecks of purple and yellow floor spar can be found on the outer face of the Castleton limestone rocks as well. A large proportion of Blue John floor spar was mined during the First World War and used as a flux in the blast furnaces in the steel industry. In 1926, commercial mining stopped and the landowners began to protect the cave passageways and they were open to the public shortly after. The more significant veins, which were mined for larger objects, were mostly worked out and only small amounts of the Blue John are mined today. This helps to preserve the resource for future generations since the supply is not infinite. Hope you've enjoyed this film today and hope that you can join us again next time. Don't forget to check our social media channels for more information.